You're listening to the Golf Psychology Podcast with mental game of golf expert, Dr. Patrick Cohn. Do you want to improve your mental game of golf? Then join us on Sessions with Doc. Do you allow your opponents or your playing partners to get in your head and it affects your mindset on the golf course? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. In this episode, I'm going to discuss how you can deal with thoughts about your playing partners, and focus on your own game. You're listening to the Golf Psychology Podcast. Want proven mental strategies to improve your golf game? Visit peaksports.com and download a free report, Six Costly Mistakes Golfers Make With Their Pre-Shot Routine. Here's the question I received from Sarah. Sarah said, I allow my opponents to get into my head. I focus too much on what they're shooting and what they might be thinking about my scoring or my game. I'm just not playing my own game. How can I improve my focus on the golf course and focus on what I need to do? Sarah, great question about focusing too much on what your playing partners are doing. I would say you're probably making comparisons to how you're performing along with how your playing partners are doing. In addition, Another very common phenomenon that happens to golfers is they tend to worry too much about what their playing partners think about their own game. In other words, you think, are they assessing my swing? Am I scoring well enough out here? Um, Do they respect my game? Which, if you think about it, is kind of silly to be doing that. But it's very, very common for golfers to be concerned about embarrassing themselves or some golfers want to look like the star out there. They want others to see them as a star. So there's many, many different twists or elements to that whole issue about worrying about what other golfers think about your game. But bottom line is you have a split focus. If part of you is thinking about what your playing partners are doing, oh, did she just hit a good shot? Or did she just make a birdie? Or did she see that shot I made? (laughs) If part of your focus is on that, then... That means only part of your focus is on your shot making. So what's the solution here? The solution is pretty simple, but hard to apply. The solution is, what are you supposed to do when you go out and play a round of golf? You're supposed to go out and beat the golf course. You're not supposed to go out and beat your opponents. Uh, At the end of the day, you want to beat your opponents, but it's ultimately you're playing the golf course, right? And so... Instead of thinking about how well your opponents are doing and how you're doing and making comparisons to them and worrying about what they think, I want you to focus on your game plan, playing the course to the best of your ability. So in order to do that, you got to free yourself up from worrying about what others think, free yourself up from making comparisons to your competitors or playing partners. Well, how do you do that? You have to tell yourself, It doesn't matter what they're doing out there. It only matters what I'm doing. In addition, they're not making any assumptions about my game because they're playing their own game. They're doing their own thing. They're busy with their own stuff to be worried about my stuff. So you have to realize they're not focused on your game or judging your game. In addition, you have to understand that focusing on their game, how well they're playing, the shots they're hitting, becomes irrelevant for your game. So have a game plan, what clubs you're going to hit off the tees, uh, what clubs you're going to hit into the par threes, for example, or possible clubs, how you're going to play the par fives, where are the bailout areas, where do you need to stay below the flag on your approach shots. Really, really get into that game plan and how you're going to execute your game plan. And get the blinders on, which means stop looking around at your playing partners because it's just a distraction for you to execute your game plan out there. And finally, if you find your mind wandering to what others think or what others are scoring out there, simply stop yourself and try and refocus on your current shot or your next shot. All right, if you want help with your mental game, jump over to peaksports.com. That's the mothership. There, you can find the Golfer's Mental Edge 2.0, our brand new audio and workbook program. And that program also is included in the first month 
of our one-on-one -on -one mental coaching programs. All right, thanks for the question and good luck with your game. Thank you for listening to the Golf Psychology Podcast with Dr. Patrick Cohn. Do you have a mental game question you want answered? Visit peaksports.com, the number one sports psychology website for mental training and golf psychology.